Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm gonna do your collective reading for my people watching this video. Let's see what are the channel messages, what do you need to know right now, what is coming next, what you can expect very soon in your life, what is coming next or who is coming next. It's gonna be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Book a personal reading, everything is given in description. Follow me on Instagram, link is also given in description. So let's start the reading, let's see what's happening. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and give me your feedback. I will really appreciate it. Let's go, let's start it. What's happening for my collective? What do you need to know right now? We have elevation and we also have the house. You could be seeing 616 number a lot. Some of you, it could be upgrading your house, okay? Like you could be moving one place to another, like moving or shifting in a big house, let's say, or you're saving money for that. Some of you, it could be a um, renovation in your house. Could be you're changing interior in your house, also I'm picking up here. Something that you're releasing old and, you know, throwing out the old and it's like bringing something new in your life. This could be even a lifestyle. Your lifestyle is about to change or elevate in your life. But something about your house here. Yeah, we also have negotiation. So it could be something to do with, yeah, some of you could be purchasing a house or purchasing a property or something. You could be even signing a contract with somebody. And this meeting is going to happen in somebody's house. Like they want to meet you, they want to talk to you. There could be something that you're winning and there's like first, second, and third position here about something. And you may be getting some type of position here. Are you selected between these three people, like one, two, or three? And there is something negotiating. You could be 36. Some of you, it's 22 maybe also. We have the love, 29. Oh, love is coming. Cupid arrow. So the love is coming on your way. It's a Cupid arrow. So it's like love is coming, Venus and Mars. So this is going to be a perfect match because we have a Venus and Mars. Your Venus and Mars could be conjunct with this person. And another thing, your sun and moon is also going to be conjunct with this person. So you both are, uh, let's say, astrologically, um, you know, like planet-wise, is like a perfect for each other, but at the same time, perfect fit for each other. It's an angel blessing, though, because we have angels' babies here. Number 29 could be important, or 11. It's a union, divine union here, definitely. Something is about to start or initiate between you and this person. This person wants to invite you in their house or... Some of you, this could be somebody that you're going to move in together with. Wow. So if this person has option, they're choosing you. It's like your lifestyle is going to be completely changed being with this person. Yeah, your house, your designing, your lifestyle, your, it's like something is upgrading in your life because with this person. Yeah, this person with the water here. There could be a water sign a water moon. Yeah, this person, it's like you're going to have a cup, it's like a tea or meeting with this person again, you will be invited. Yeah, it could be a ceremony. I told you like, uh, some of you, you're getting some type of reward here or reward or some type of um, distribution of the certificate or something, or you will be there, you will be definitely receiving it. It's look like some type of um, event here that you're gonna attend. Hmm. We also have the change coming, coming number 44, so it's a prediction here, so Jupiter, yeah. So some of you, you already maybe, it's like, got a tarot reading on this, or prediction on this, and it's coming through. This change is coming. We have a 44 now. This big change is happening. Yeah, this could be Jupiter, we know that Jupiter is like somebody, uh, in the woman chart is a husband, or somebody that, yeah, you're going to be in a relationship with, you're going to create a house with, or kids with, or family with. You're going to maybe even move in together with this person, to be honest. Yeah, Jupiter is definitely somebody who's very wiser, very experienced, somebody who could be very well off. They could be a successful person. They're bringing luck in your life. Your house will be near the water, I'm picking up. Something to do with the near the water or the event will be near the water, like ocean or some type of a ceremony will happen there. Or you will meet this person there. I don't know. We have a peace. Oh, yeah. 26. Yeah, you're meant to be together. This could be somebody who's your soul contract. Again, there's a Venus here. There's a lot of love here. So th this connection is going to be very peaceful and very harmonious. Can, can you see that with the love and peace? It's going to be very peaceful and harmonious. I think you're going to have a kid together. This is somebody that you're going to be, have a, like a family together with a Jupiter. You will have a 
huge family together i don't know could be you're going to have a business partnership with this person also like you you both are going to be like a business partners but at the same time you know lovers like you're going to work with this person but this person is bringing peace love and change in your life get ready for that We have a Jupiter and Venus and Mars. This could be somebody with the Mars. I think you're going to start dating this person and then you will settle down. Yeah, exactly. Your boyfriend too. It's like there will be upgrading here. Like from boyfriend to husband or girlfriend to wife. That type of energy here. So if you're currently dating, this is somebody that you're about to maybe decide to get married or move forward. Or if you're single or you are waiting for somebody, this person is on the way. Get ready. You will be, this person got, oh my God, I said that and this card came up. This is a lucky card. This is the only one card in this deck. So yeah, you will be lucky with the Jupiter here. You will be lucky. Luck will be, your, will be on your side. I think you're manifesting it. You're manifesting it. I told you, you will be lucky. Um, I think you already feel it. You already knew it. It's going to happen. It's coming. This person could be a writer or they're going to write you something. It could be when a confession coming. You will be lucky though in this love. People will tell you I think you are lucky. People will literally come on your face and come to you and tell you in the face like you're lucky. Yeah, being with this person, whoever this is. Are you going to feel lucky? To be honest, you will feel lucky. You will be you will you will be blessed. Now, I think um that's enough. You could be even going to be lucky in financial matters. I think there's some type of a change coming in your finances, your position, your power. I told you it could be your highest house. Also, you're, you're elevating. Your lifestyle is changing and improving. There's something about your writing or publishing or your creating. It's also going to be bringing a lot of love and peace. You could be even spreading the messages of love and peace to the world, uh, to the society, to the people. You both are going to be, I think, as a couple, going to do this work. You're going to be the like epitome of the beauty or that couple that's going to spread love and peace in front of the world in the world you will be that powerful couple so it's giving me the vibe of like twin flame or soulmate or you both have some type of a divine purpose here it's not just like being, yeah i think wherever you will go you will bring harmony peace and love and people will literally want to invite both of you it's like they want to just invite you everywhere you both are going to be also lucky for each other you both are going to be very lucky for each other i think you both are going to bring the change it's like something that you have they need and whatever they have you need it but you both are going to feel very lucky and proud of each other. Something is going to start. I think I keep seeing this type of reading and predicting this reading. So it's true, definitely. And if you keep watching on other channels too, it's a sign. It's definitely you're going to be lucky. And this is something fated here, Saturn. It's something Saturn is going to give you or bless you. This person could be older than you because I'm Jupiter. I'm seeing in Jupiter and Saturn. They're older than you or they're more wiser and experienced in the world of business or world and money, finances. I think, I think they will be older than you. But 48 and 44, yeah, can, can you see that they could be 40 plus or I don't know, something for some of you not going to resonate with everybody. Fate, destiny. It's something written. It's something written for both of you. And look at this. It's a blessing for both of you. Again, there's going to be a blessing. You're definitely going to have a lot of kids with this person. You're going to create a family. Uh, if this is a man here, this person is going to be the father of your kids. And if you're a man watching this video, you will have babies with this person. Whoever you're interested in. I think you're going to create a family together. This is going to be, I don't know, I'm not just saying that. You can see that this is going to be very peaceful and love and harmonious connection. Because you deserve it. I think you were patiently waiting for this person. You were, you were not putting yourself out there. You were patiently waiting for these things to come to you. This person is going to pour their heart and emotions into you. You're going to feel very blessed and happy with the water here. This person could be a water sign. They could even have a Jupiter in a water sign. Like, like Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But could be... Uh, water i'm picking a moon moon could be in their water sign they're going to be very creative too let's see more are you both are going to be very creative six of swords yeah things are moving forward you're finally moving towards oh my goodness <laughs> okay um you're finally moving towards interesting number 26 it's it's a it's number like two people coming together with a peace. So coming together with a peace. There will be a peace. You both are going to be the, I, I don't know. I don't know who this person is. You know better. But whoever this person is, you're going to be the peaceful couple. You both are going to be wherever you will go. You will bring the peace and harmony and love. You will, you will be this uh, like uh, 
example, true example of peace and harmonious and lovely couple. Yeah, you will be maybe inspiration, but you will be lucky in love because you both are going to be very, very in love with each other and bring the peace and bring the harmony in this connection. This is that type of a connection here. You will adore each other. You will love each other the way you are. You want to accept each other. So yeah, moving towards calmer water, ten of swords, everything that happened between you and this person or overall in your life, you're going to forget about it. Finally, it's moving towards peace. It's like things are going to... The worst is over. Yeah, five of cups. Yeah, so some of you, because uh, of your past experiences in the past, you thought that you're never gonna be happy. You could be coming out of a separation, divorce, or, or in a situation chips. Okay, you thought that you're never gonna be in love. You're never gonna be with somebody or you will ever find peace and love in relationship, but no. You will be in cloud nine, can you see that? Seven of cups, you will be in the cloud nine. You will smile again. Can you see that? She's smiling. You will smile again. Yeah, look at this. You will smile again like her. Butterflies, transformation. It's going to be a um, dream come true. It's going to be like... Yeah, something that's going to make you smile again. You will be happy again. Yeah, eight of pentacles. It's going to be equal give and take connection. Yeah, this is like you both are going to work on this connection. It's going to be equal give and take. It's not going to be like imbalance. One person is doing, other is not doing. No. It's also going to be somebody that who is going to... Yeah, we have a horse, uh, shoe horse. Horse shoe. So lucky again. This person is working hard. They're workaholic. They worked very hard. Um, this is somebody who's very, very like stable and reliable person. We also have an Ace of Cups. Yeah, so a lot of you, this could be a new person here that you manifested. Can you see the candle here? I think a lot of you, you manifested this person. You manifested this person. You put, maybe you even put the spell, like on love spell. You wanted this type of a person and you're not gonna believe that. It's gonna be very magical. You're gonna feel like cloud nine. You will feel very lucky on that day when this person is going to come and confess their love to you or this is somebody that you're already in so much love with this person, in awe of with this person. Or maybe you're not because you're waiting for, look at this, Four of Cups. You're like, everybody has their love story. Where is my person? Where is my story? You are disappointed in love. I can see that. Four of Cups. Um, yeah. So you are disappointed in love. You're like, where is my cup? Where is my love? It's coming. It's on the way. Four of Swords um, and Eight of Cups. Yeah. So a lot of you... Um, you dealt with people in the past, you know, that was very cold, detached, you know, they were not available, emotionally not available, you feel rejected, ignored, um, and maybe uh, you never been in love because you always been, it's like one-sided, you always feel ignored, chicked, uh, side, you maybe always feel like a side chick, or you always feel like the people that who always leave you, um, your love story never been completed, or this could be somebody um, that you thought that they're not interested in you, they're not in love with you, or, or something between you and this person, you were thinking, oh, it's just imagination, I think it's just my dream, because you just definitely maybe let this person go, and but at the same time, with the Four of Swords, can you see that? It's like you just, you know, detach yourself from this person, thinking that, okay, maybe this is not going to come true, maybe this is never going to happen, maybe this is not my love story, maybe me and this person is never going to be together, but again, with the Ace of Cups, it looks like you are still in lot of love with this person some of you but it's not just love from your side this person already in love with you but there was a reason that you just got separated or um, there was a break between you and this person so this is that person you thought that you ignored or got ignored or rejected by this person it's not the case it's like this person is going to come forward and they will let you know that they have feelings for you there will be a peace and harmony between you and this person. If there was a miscommunication, misunderstanding, ending, whatever the reason between you and this person was, you will be together. Again, there is number 44 here, uh, and we have a 44. So change is coming in this connection and dynamic. Maybe you both were not uh, talking to each other. Maybe you both were confused. This person was acting like cold and detached, and they thought that you, know, you were not interested, and you were feeling like they're ignoring you. It's not the case. I think there was some type of a misunderstanding here. That's going to be clear between you and this person, though. But a lot of you, it's a new love because you will completely let go of the past situations and you will be with this person or this could be a breath of fresh air for both of you. It's going to be a new beginning, definitely.
Yeah, I think there was some type of a confusion here. 888, you could be seeing 88 number a lot. 888, 888. Yeah, and yeah, something between yeah, five of swords. So there was definitely a lot of confusion, a lot of misunderstanding. Ego battles between you and this person. This person may be sabotaged. Can you see that? Eight of swords, five of swords, and four of swords. Yeah, this person could be sabotaged. It. And you thought that you, know, you will never be together. Either though, even though you both are in love with each other. Yeah, so I think finally there will be a new beginning between you and this person. This is somebody who's bringing, um, they were in isolation. They were thinking a lot and something is going to reveal to you. Can you see this? Like the veils are going to be removed. Veiled are going to be unveiled. Uh, veils are going to be unveiled or something. I don't know. Something is going to be like coming clear. The truth is coming out. Confusion is going to be clear. Or a lot of you, this could be a new person here that is manifesting. 11, again, it's a union between you and this person. Can you not? 29, 11, 11. So yeah, I think it's going to be a union between you and this person now. This could be somebody that you manifested. Or this could be that person that there was a lot of confusion, a lot of stuck energy, um, inconsistency, or you were not talking to each other, you were not being honest with each other, or this person was not honest. They took their time to think about it, meditate, and work on themselves. You're going to see that this person is going to... It's like they're very improved now. They want to talk. They want to communicate. And you will be so happy with this person because I think you will be in love. You both are in love. You're just coming together. You're about to kiss this person, by the way. Yeah, this person has been slow. So they could be a Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. They have been slow with the Emperor, Aries, Aries and Taurus. They have displacements maybe. Or it could be Capricorn or Virgo. Yeah, so this person has been slow. They were taking their time. They're going to take the responsibility now. This could be when somebody who is like very stubborn, they want the things in their own way, or Sagittarius, they maybe have these placements, or there was a difference between you and this person. So this is that person who want to clear things up with you. They want to come forward and they want to take responsibility. They're going to take it very slow. Again, you will grow with each other with the time. But they're coming to, it's like there will be a new beginning in love, or there will be a brand new person coming into your life to give you everything that you deserve. You're meant to have. This is your divine masculine here, by the way. This is again Aries, Jupiter energy here. This person could be have a Jupiter in Aries or Sagittarius. Yeah, they're very business oriented. You're gonna work with this person. You will be together. This person has a plan. They're coming with a big plan. They're coming with a plan and they're definitely ready to execute that. They're ready to confess, they're ready to express. It's just the truth is coming out. There will be harmony and balance. Yes, could be the Libra season is very important, the month of October. Yeah, there will be a balance. There's a karma. You have a definitely some type of a soul tie with this person. It's a soulmate. You're meant to be together, no matter what. It's coming, and also it's a divine timing. Can you see that? There was a cold and detached energy. You know, this person was acting cold or not sure about it. They were confused, and that's why you were confused. They were also sabotaging this connection, like how it's going to work. But now there will be a greenery. There will be a good time. There's a change coming in this connection. So get ready for that. Again, it's another 11 number. It's a union. Oh my God, justice and ten of cups. This is somebody that you're meant to have family with. You're meant to create a family with. You're meant to create a kids with. Yeah, Jupiter, this is going to be your husband or Venus, your wife. Get ready for that. You're manifesting uh, your future spouse or somebody that you're going to create this very harmonious, balanced love life. Um, maybe you both are going to work together also. So get ready. I'm going to see you later. Bye.